we can forget a Halloween Brexit. It was a very short and uh, a very short and uh, uh, efficient and uh, constructive meeting, and I am happy that uh, decision has been taken. Huh? What a decision! That decision is to push Brexit Day to the end of January, with the possibility of the UK leaving earlier if a deal is done before then, what they call a flextension. Under the law, Boris Johnson must go along with that, and this often repeated claim now looks hollow. I'd rather be dead in a ditch. January the 31st is the new date in the diary for Britain leaving the EU. October the 31st has gone, even though the government still won't officially say that. Meanwhile, tonight, the government's trying to win a vote to have an election on December the 12th, but it needs the backing of two-thirds of MPs, and that's unlikely. Instead, there's a new plan for an election on December the 9th, backed by the Scottish National Party and the Liberal Democrats. But wouldn't that give the Prime Minister the pre-Christmas election he wants? That's not the way the Lib Dems see it. He would have to accept, first of all, is that uh, he hasn't done or died by the 31st of October. He hasn't got us out of the European Union. He will not be able to ram his bill through. He will hold a general election. And I think that gives the country a chance to, to vote to stay in the European Union and to vote for the Liberal Democrats. Labour, though, are not yet on board with that plan, the leadership claiming that no deal could still happen. And anyway, many Labour MPs hate the idea of a December election. People don't answer their door after it gets dark. I think that, you know, it, why the rush? Why is it Boris Johnson is precipitating towards the polls? Is it that he doesn't want to see what the results of his awful Brexit deal will be? Does he want to do this before people see how bad things get? Today, Boris Johnson kicked off this year's poppy appeal. By the time Remembrance Day comes around, we could be well into an election campaign if he can find a way for Parliament to give it the thumbs up.